Welcome back. Today, the baseball world, along with many here in the Ohio Valley, mourn the loss of a true legend. Former Lansing native and Hall of Fame pitcher Phil ne Necro lost his battle with cancer this past weekend. 7 News reporter Dan Mayer spoke with some longtime friends of the Hall of Famer. They tell us that while Necro may have left the Ohio Valley, the Ohio Valley never left him. Phil Necro was born in Blaine, Ohio on April 1, 1939. The son of Phil Sr. and Ivy Necro, he grew up just down the road in Lansing. His father was a coal miner and semi-pro pitcher who taught his son how to throw the knuckleball at a young age. Phil would practice the pitch by throwing lumps of coal in the family's backyard. It was that pitch that would frustrate major league hitters for over two decades. He was given the nickname Nuxie and would go on to win over 300 major league games. His close friends say that his accomplishments on the field are impressive, but his kindness and generosity off the field are even more remarkable. They say that no matter where he played, he always considered the Ohio Valley his true home. Phil was a giver, and he cared about his family, his friends, and Ohio Valley especially. When he came back, the 22 golf tournaments we had, he showed up through 20 of them, and drive through the tunnel and said, boy, I'm home. I'm back home in Lansing and Bridgeport. Couldn't wait to see his old friends and new friends, too. Just loved to be part of the High Valley. Gordy Longshaw is a longtime friend of the Necro family. He has followed Phil's career from the very beginning, traveling all over the country to various games, often as Necro's guest. Longshot tells endless stories of Necro's generosity and giving nature, but also says that Phil had quite the sense of humor. I remember going to Cleveland with my dad. My dad knew Phil's dad. And he was very nice and special to my father, Walter. And so we're sitting there having breakfast, and people come over and say, Hey, aren't you uh, Phil Necro? Yes. And he says, uh, Isn't that Yogi Bear? My dad said, No, I'm not Yogi Bear. And Phil says, Come on, Yogi, give it up. I sign autographs. Come on, you got to sign. And that my dad signed the autographs for Yogi Bear. But uh, he would do pranks like that. Bridgeport resident Marty Gould first met Necro at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony in 1997. Later, he became his golf partner at the Necro Scramble for nearly 10 years. He says that despite the media frenzy, fanfare, and activity on that day, Necro's priority was his hometown family and friends. He came right to the hometown crew that we went up on the bus, and he came up uh, to us and was right in the center of our picture. We all got a picture of him. and. With all those people that he needed to see, uh, that's who he wanted to be around. Signs and tributes can now be seen all over the Bridgeport and Lansing area. The baseball diamond at his alma mater bears the name of Phil and his brother Joe. They now serve as a reminder for generations to come to a true hometown hero. Reporting for 7 News, Dan Mayers, working for you. Dan, thank you. Necro is survived by his wife Nancy and his sister Phyllis. He also has three sons and two grandchildren.